Hello, Karen. Uh, my name is Jason Nestor, and I'm going to go over really quick just how to uh, record on uh, uh, Multimedia Presenter. Um, actually, this is actually an older version. At the end of this video, I'll give you a little preview of, um, of our new application that's coming out. It's much easier to use, but um, currently it's just in testing phase. So, but, but anyway, I have one presentation currently on my dashboard page here. Um, I'm going to go to it really quickly. And, that, and you'll see when I'm in here that um, most of these slides don't have audio attached to them. Um, for me to add audio, I, I could uh, do many things, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this edit here. Looks like a pen. And when you click, you should be able to record audio just by clicking below this microphone here. So if you click on it, click allow, and then click record. So you see it says I'm recording. Um, you can actually see it moving. And when I click stop, it says it's saving, and then it gives you an, um, a little message at the end. So this, this is confirmation that, in fact, it uploaded the file at least and the duration of it. Um, as far as closing it goes, there's no X or pop-up button or anything like that. Whatever your browser generates, you can just click the close button on there. And then you'll see that there's no change on this page. Um, if you refresh it, you'll see that the audio duration turned to seven seconds and it's got my file here. Um, if I click check this audio, record. So you see it says I'm recording. Um, you can actually see it move. So you see it, it, it worked. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the issue was. I know it, it could have been a browser related issue too. So if you're having pr uh, problems in a specific browser, you might want to uh, try out a different one and, and see. I know I have issues in Safari typically. Um, more or less, um, that's really the only only browser that I have problems with. But um, I don't use Internet Explorer much, um, as we have mostly Macs, and um, and you could have an issue there too. But I recommend Google Chrome or Firefox. Um, it works perfectly in both of those browsers. You shouldn't have any other issues as far as that goes. So um, give it a shot, and uh, shoot me an email and let me know how everything turned out. Uh, thanks a lot. Oh, and real quick, I said I was going to show you um, our new application that we're working on. We're going to roll it out, um, hopefully by the end of summer. Um, but it is called KSU Presenter, and it is basically the uh, it's a much better version of MMP. Um, you can just create a new presentation. Same sort of an idea about uploading and things like that. It's got um, a lot of uh, better management. Uh, tools here like it's got a folder structure and just a lot of interesting little uh, organizational tools for uh, organizing if you have multiple presentations and um, audio recording is uh, very similar I'll, I'll show you it's it's a much better process than it currently is so you'll you get to look at that a little bit um, so all the slides are here. You can actually uh, move them around a little bit. And to edit audio, you simply just click Edit Audio um, or Record or Upload Audio. So you have an option here to upload your own MP3 file or you can record. Um, it works much cleaner than um, than uh, it does in, in MMP currently. So this will be out and it'll be uh, just a much better solution, we think than uh, MMP currently is. It's just a much better version. So that is that. Um, I hope that your issue is resolved. And uh, please feel free to send me emails directly at jnester2 at kent.edu. And I will be more than glad to help you with any problems that you might have. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.